The e-node sensor can be housed within the powerlifting training bar and the WPPO competition bar and is designed to track an athlete's lifting statistics. The sensor is connected to the e-node app, which allows athletes to easily monitor their progress and improve their performance over time. With this technology, athletes can gain a better understanding of their training habits and make informed decisions about their fitness goals. Follow this short guide about how to insert the e-node sensor into the bar. Start by putting the bar in a rack to achieve a suitable working height. Peel off the stickers on the end caps with the screwdriver that's included in the sensor kit. That will reveal the end cap beneath and you'll see a treaded hole. Use the included allen key to screw the included screw into that hole. This can be a tight fit, don't be afraid to use some force. When the screw has been screwed in all the way, it will push against the back wall of the compartment in the sleeve and the end cap will pop off. Use the screwdriver to remove the snap ring and repeat on the other side. Charge the sensors with the included USB cables. They'll charge quickly. Download the app eNode Pro and create a user profile. When you have the user profile set up, press connect to sensor in the app. Move both sensors close to your phone or device and you'll see that they appear in a 3D view and are ready to be calibrated. This is set up to allow the sensors to know what is up and down. This entails turning the sensors in six directions according to the orange arrows on the screen. After calibration, you're ready to start using the sensors for training, choose and create exercises, choose what metrics to show, etc. Insert the sensors into the bar sleeve. The sensor is magnetic and will snap into place, so you can't put it in the wrong way. If you want to, you can apply the end cap sticker onto the sensor, which comes with the kit. Use the included magnetic key to remove the sensor when needed. 